52-year-old Paul Whelan of Novi was first detained in Moscow back in December of 2018. He was later convicted of espionage and sentenced to 16 years in a Russian prison camp. Yesterday, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken revealing that the White House has proposed a prisoner swap to bring Paul home along with WNBA star Brittany Griner. 7 Action News reporter Sarah Grimmer spoke one-on-one -on -one with David Whelan today, Paul's brother, about how Paul is doing and how the family is responding to this news. Sarah, what have you heard? In our interview today, David said that the Whelan family is learning this news with the rest of us. And he said that his brother Paul likely doesn't even know yet. He said that Paul is usually able to speak with their parents at least once a day on the phone. But for the past 24 hours, he hasn't been able to. I'm cautiously optimistic that the Russians, whatever it, it, the offer is, the Russians will take it. David Whelan says his family is taking the news of the U.S. offering an exchange for their brother Paul Whelan, a former Marine, day by day. I think it's the uh, clearest indication that the U.S. government is taking concrete action. And so from that perspective, yes, I think we may be a little bit more hopeful that something is going to come of it. Um, we just may be more publicly disappointed <laughs> than, than in the past. The White House has not confirmed, but it's been speculated that the exchange, proposed weeks ago, is Russian arms dealer Victor Bout for Paul and WNBA star Brittany Griner. Perhaps the most extraordinary part was that the uh, Secretary of State said out loud, we have made an offer and it hasn't already been accepted. Um, it's, a, it's a real risk. It's, a, it's quite a gamble for them to, to make that and expect that the Russians will respond. David says conditions are worsening for Paul in prison. Fear and hope for his release has possibly never been this high. Secretary Blinken is expected to meet with the Russian foreign minister this week and says he will bring the exchange deal up once again. It, it makes sense that they may be trying new tactics to try to provoke the Russians to acknowledge that they have received an offer and then have to respond some way publicly. We also spoke with David about how Paul says those conditions are worsening in the Russian prison. We'll share those details with you as well as how Paul is doing physically. All of that is coming up in about an hour on 7 Action News at 5. Reporting in Southfield today, Sarah Grimmer, 7 Action News. Sarah, thank you.